How much would I weigh on a neutron star? Neutron stars contain the densest matter in the universe, not including black holes which break the laws of physics and are not really things anymore, a topic for another video. Neutron stars are the compressed remains of dead massive stars, stars that were big enough to erupt in a supernova explosion, leaving behind an extremely dense core. This core can contain up to three times the mass of our sun in the space of only 12 to 30 kilometers across. The material that makes up a neutron star is called neutron degenerate matter, a material that only contains neutrons. It is so densely packed that a matchbox full of it would weigh 3 billion tons on Earth. But this leads to an interesting point. The way we weigh something on Earth is by an object pressing down on the Earth because of the strength of Earth's gravity. Yet, the measurement we use to define something's weight is described by its mass. For instance, if I say I weigh 70 kilograms, that is actually my mass, not my weight, because my weight is measured by the strength of gravity on mass. On Mars, my mass of 70 kilograms is the same, but my weight is lighter because gravity is weaker there. On a neutron star, all this mass squeezed into the tightest of spaces means that gravity there is 2 times 10 to the power 11 times more than Earth, or 200 billion times stronger than on Earth. To put this into some kind of perspective, this means that if I were to fall from a height of 1 meter from the surface of a neutron star, I would hit the ground at 1,500 kilometers per second. Its gravity is so strong that light can go in orbit around it, meaning at certain points you could technically see the whole neutron star at the same time. So, although this is far outside the realms of possibility, if I were to stand on a neutron star, my weight would be 200 billion times greater than it is on Earth. Imagine how much force I would be exerting on the floor of the neutron star. Not that it cares, because it's so densely packed. What would actually happen to my fragile body is that it would flatten against the surface to an atomic scale, likely turning into neutron degenerate matter as my atoms are crushed. This powerful gravitational field means that neutron stars are also the most perfect spheres in the universe, likely being completely smooth. Want to know more about neutron stars? Then you'd better subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos I make about them, and so you can check out my other videos on space. I'd also be really grateful if you could support the channel on Patreon. All the best, and see you next time.